வணக்கம் இன் டிஸ்கிரீட் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் இஸ் டன் த்ரூ ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர்ஸ் இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ராசஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டட் த்ரூ ப்ராசஸ் ஆர்டர்ஸ் இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் ரிப்பீட்டிவ் மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் பிளான் ஆர்டர்ஸ் ஆர் இட்ஸ் பிளான் ஆர்டர் இட்ஸ் செல்ஃப் இஸ் யூஸ் டு ஃபார் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த பேசிக் டீட்டெயில்ஸ் அபவுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர் so before going to details we will discuss what we have uh, understood so far so we discuss the basic concepts of production planning production types organization structure we reviewed various master data required for sap production planning material master bill of materials work centers routing and production version and then we discuss on the concepts on demand management planned independent requirement in sap mrp logic Now how MRP is run, how to evaluate MRP results, how to handle exception management and what are the MRP outputs. And then in the last session we discuss in detail about planned orders in detail. So production planning for discrete manufacturing helps with production order creation, material capacity, checks, variance calculation and much more. Production orders help to manage to uh, release the production businesses the processes in the right time to have a smooth flow of materials and information across the organization with improved productivity through various activities like scheduling costing goods issue goods receipt this makes the business to deliver the products and services with high efficiency production order is the formal element that informs the production department on how to proceed and what to produce and when to produce production order contains the details on production quantities components required to produce the material what are all the operations required to produce the product including the work centers and the scheduling details of the production and many other details production orders are highly integrated with the controlling and product costing planned cost are calculated when we create the production order production process in discrete manufacturing starts when a production order is created a production order can either be created manually or by converting planned order which was created from mrp into production order a production order is a request to the production department to produce the product at specific time in a specific quantity it is specifies the work centers and metal components that are required for the production the creation of a production order automatically creates a reservation for the required material components purchase requisitions are created for externally procured metal components and services like external operations and capacity requirements are created for the work centers at which each operation of the order will be executed production orders are released on the release date as long as required materials and capacity are available the production related documents like shop floors papers are printed to prepare for production execution the capacity situation is evaluated and any required capacity leveling is carried out in any phase of production order processing although this is usually ensured before the actual production starts the components required to produce the products are issued with reference to the production order the product is produced and the product is received into the stores and the finished product is confirmed with respect to the production order the product is put into store location the gr is posted finally settlement of production is ensured with the technical completion the master data for a material whatever we discuss in the previous sessions like a metal master bill of materials work centers routing and production version they set the very core area and the central information for the production order when we create production order of a material the system looks for the bill of material routing and production order whatever is applicable the system copies all of the information from the master data so that minimal efforts are involved in production order creation 
Whether we create production order by converting planned order from MRP or manually, the system will fetch the master data in the production order. As we discussed, we can individually or collectively convert planned orders of MRP into production orders. We can create production order with or without reference to any planned order. Production order is also a central component used to record and update all of the activities or functions that the users perform. For example, you can manually or automatically enable the system to check and perform various activities like we can ask the system to check metal availability or capacity availability. System will generate some control instructions. We can also set the system to calculate the plant cost and many other activities. Later, when you perform functions like uh, uh, goods issue, confirmation, yield update, system will update the information automatically so that we can review and uh, get those details for any further analysis. For all these, we need to do some basic configuration settings, which we will discuss in the session on SAP production planning configuration settings, which we will publish after maybe six or seven sessions. Let us understand the difference between planned orders and production orders. Planned orders are from MRP on what to produce and when to produce. As long as planned orders are not confirmed, they may be overwritten by MRP run based on the change in the requirement. Planned orders are not used for execution purpose in discrete manufacturing. Similarly, planned orders are not used in process entries also because their planned orders are converted into process orders. As we told in uh, repeat, repetitive manufacturing, planned orders are used for execution itself. Now coming to production order, production orders are converted from planned orders which are firm, which is the firm requirement. Production orders will not be overwritten by system. If it has to be changed, it has to be done by the users. And production orders are used to execute the production. And production orders have many elements which are covered under four major headings header details, operation details, components, statuses. Header details contain organization information like what is the order number, what is the quantity to produce, what are the dates to produce, right, and what is the uh, cost involved. All these details are covered. Under operations section, the detailed information about operations like a date, default value, what is a confirmed quantity, all those details are available. Under components section, we have detailed information about what are the components we need, what is the required quantity, what is the reservation number, and where they have to be picked, all these details are available. In status section, the system display various system or user defined status of a production order. For example, we can see whether the production order is created or released or printed or costing is done, metal issue is done, any metal shortage or all metals are available, a production is printed or is completed. All these details we can see through the status of the production order. Production orders, there are different types may be required to identify the orders of specific purpose. For example, one order type may be required for automatic line production. There may be one order type required for manual production, or there may be one order type required for rework purpose or repair purpose. One order type may be required for sample purpose. At the same time, please note that we have to avoid creation of too many production order types. And based on order types, we can control the production order release print, scheduling, etc., which we'll discuss in the subsequent sections because various uh, activities we can control through these types of production orders. What is the default order type has to come? This can be defined in different levels. Order type can be defined based on the material which is covered in the production scheduler. If not, order time can be order type can be defined through a group of materials which is defined in the MRP group parameters. If not, order type will be defined at the plant level. These things we'll discuss in the configuration settings. Here we have to understand an order type for the material can be selected either from metal master or through MRP group or through the plant level. 
so in this session we discuss about the basic uh, uh, what is production order what are the basic elements in production order what is the difference between planned orders and production orders how production orders are selected so after introducing the production orders the next session we will discuss how to create and release the production orders and what happens during creation and release uh, please give your feedback to improve the flow and contents Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye.